Welcome back guys, this is Always back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can convert your Angular 7 application to Angular 8. Now it's been about 4 days since Angular 8 was released. I was really excited about it and I wanted to convert my applications to Angular 8 from Angular 7. So this is one of the applications that I've been working on for one of my course projects. So I'll show you that course in a second, but this is the project that I'm working on. It uses Angular material. I want to show you my brand new Angular 8 essential guide. Well, this course basically covers the Angular core concept and also it has many projects. Now, if you're still new to Angular and trying hard to learn Angular, but still not really getting what Angular is, then this is the right course for you. This is why I titled this course, How Angular Works. So in this course, we will learn Angular, but we also understand what Angular does for you and how it does for you. So check this out. I'll drop a link for this course with the coupon in the description of this video. So I'm going to close this tab and now let's go and convert our application. So first of all, I'm going to go to terminal, stop the server, and I'm going to check the version of Angular CLI we have. So I'll type ng dash dash version. Angular CLI 7.3.7 because this is locally installed. But if I, you know, go to open a terminal, I'll type ng dash dash version. Angular CLI version 8.0.1 install. To make sure that globally I update my Angular CLI. So let me open that terminal here. And now I'm going to use that ng update command. Top ng update at Angular CLI and Angular slash core. So now it's saying, hey, your global Angular CLI version is 8.0.1, but it's actually updating our project now. So I'm going to show you what are the changes it does for you. So right up there, you see uh, Angular CLI has changed to 8. Also in your package.json file, which basically it was a seven point some version, but now it has been changed to 8.0.0. So our project has been updated. Now, if I go to package.json file, here you can see we have an Angular animation package was seven, but now it's eight. Angular common set to eight, Angular compiler, core. So our project has been updated to Angular eight few packages which are angular material which basically you need to you know update those as well so i'm going to go back to package.json file and in the development dependencies we have angular cli version to 8.0.1 as well now if you look at the command it will tell you what has been changed from the previous you know code to this code so here it's telling me hey update this lifey.component.ts file, it updated this input.component.ts file, and also it updated our routing module, which basically is here. So I'm gonna click on that, and it's gonna take me to the routing module. So the major change from Angular 7 to Angular 8 is about lazy loading. Now you used to do lazy loading by defining this, load children key and then the path for your module with the hash symbol and then the name of your module class. Now I'm going to go and open the git log and I'll show you what's changed. So here I'm going to go to this routing module and let's take a look at what was before when we were using Angular 7 and now what's been changed. So here's the code guys. So here we used to use load children key and then the path to your module file, and then hash, and then the name of your class. But now you load your module, lazy loaded module, by using this load channel key, defining that as a function, importing that, and then you passing m, and then the function, and then auth module, so the name of your module. Now here is a Angular user guide website. So if you go to update.angular.io, okay, and it says, hey, select the option matching your project. Hey, I'm gonna convert my Angular 7.0 application to Angular 8. Now, app complexities right now is, let's just say, a medium. 
and says I use Angular Material as well. So show me how to update. It'll give you a list of things that you need to do. So here you need to make sure you have HTTP module or HTTP service switched to HTTP client module and using HTTP client. We have this ng update command here, which we just use in Angular Terminal, which does a lot of things for you. It's saying make sure you are using Node 12 or later. But for now, I think if I check my Node version, guys, version, now I'm using 10.15. And if I try to run ng serve, it should run the project. Now it's mentioning that make sure you have a node version 12, but I didn't really find any issues running my Angular 8 project using node 10 or even node 8. The main key point here is guys, for lazy loading module while router importing while string is deprecated. So when you do ng update, we'll take care of this automatically as you've seen. We did ng update and it automatically updated our lazy loaded module. So it, next, most of the people use Angular Material. So here we have a command to update Angular Material as well. I'm just going to copy this command. We go back to the terminal and here we can verify that what version of Angular Material we're using. So I'm going to go up there, Angular CDK 7.3.7 .7, and we have a 7.3.7 .7 for Angular Material. So I'm just going to paste that command, press enter. And it's just going to, you know, update my uh, material as well. And it says repository is not clean. Please commit a stash and change it before updating. So this is the problem. So I'm going to do git reset dash dash hard. And now it'll go all the way back to Angular 7. So I'll type ng update at Angular slash CLI at Angular slash core at angular slash material as well. So all three together will do the job. So it's still again saying it's repository is not clean. So basically you gotta make sure that you commit your stuff. So I'm gonna go to this file and let's just even get rid of this for now. All right, I'm gonna just clean this. Now let's go and check git status. Now, nothing to commit, that's fine. So we're gonna use these three commands and it should go and update all the dependencies for us now, including Angular Material. So let's take a look what it does. All right, now it's, you've seen, Angular CDK has been updated to eight. Angular Material has been updated to eight, version eight as well. Also, it's gonna go and update our Angular compiler and other stuff as well. All right, let's uh, wait for it to finish all the processing. Once done, then we should have Angular 8 with Angular Material 8 version uh, done for us as well. So it says, please check the output above for any issues that were detected, but could not automatically fix. All right, I guess still running. Okay, so it's saying fix some problems there. So yeah, I, I think what you need to do is you need to, you know, update your CLI and a core package. Once you've done that, you got to commit and push that code. Once you've done that, then you can go and ng update at angular slash material to update angular material. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it is guys you need to do. Or if you are following, uh, if you are upgrading from any other specific version, for example, angular four to angular eight. So it says we do not recommend moving across multiple major versions. Wow, that's a big version. So four is a big major version and eight is a major version. So if I say show me how to update, now it's gonna show you a lot of a lot of things. So all you need to do is just select the version you are beginning from. For example, if I have like a version five to eight, show me how there's a lot less things and not many things will be automatically done for you because uh, it's, it's just too much. So yeah, well, you're gonna have to follow these steps to be able to update your project, okay? But from Angular 7 to 8, it's fairly simple. All you gotta do is ng update and Angular CLI and Angular Core. And if you're using Angular Material, you can update it as well. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, enjoy that, enjoy the update. Also, please have a look at this course, guys. I really put a lot of work into this. And I put a lot, lots of work into this actually.
to make this best uh, best Angular course on Udemy or any other platform. It's a, it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. And also this course is like a membership. I'll do weekly or monthly, you know, project updates or uh, new workshops. You know, it's, this is not, we're going to uh, deprecate. So if Angular 9 comes in, I'll update this course to Angular 9. So yeah, um, have a look at the description for the coupon for these guys. Thank you. Uh, see you guys in the next one.